welcome back we are doing the recording of 7th of december's holy blessing supreme god father wants us to always be conscious of not getting into the dirt of mind you see whenever we rise up in any field of work whether it's spiritual whether it's financial mental emotional health wise there's a subtle ego which comes in even the certifications even the accolades in spirituality even saying i have done this i have done that also means that there's a little bit of subtle ego somewhere of having achieved something in life there's a pure pride in something and there's an impure pride even claiming that the whole world's knowledge is mine or i've learned certain things from the world well the root of all the knowledge is the supreme creator you call him god allah jehovah and claiming it to be mine is only when you know in certain things in life if you see your own family if your parents are no longer there you claim the property to be yours well god is not dead he is never going to die so how do we claim the knowledge to be ours how do we claim the accolades which we are achieving through the spiritual knowledge through the guidance or any kind of knowledge in the world well his whole creation and we think that we are masters or we are we are we are the ones who own the knowledge in the world and we want to label it and we want to even earn out of it knowledge should be free in this world kali yuga or the iron age is a place where everything has been valued in terms of finances at least we should have left money not related to knowledge that would have been a better place otherwise the ego the main root cause of ego coming in any kind of thing is because you're paying a price for it you attain certain things in life even vidya or education by paying a price for it and that's where the ego comes in because there's an attachment to it that's why god is saying that may you finish the dirt of any consciousness of mine even in your thoughts and become an angel who stays light of any burden as soon as we feel this is mine things are mine people are mine place is mine property is mine knowledge is mine even the talents which we have are mine even if i'm talking like this to you if i'm able to talk to the, you like this it's something which god has given me it's not what i have created on my own it has emerged from within the soul that i am but yes god gave me that talent god gave me that complete knowledge of how to go about it and it's all stored within me since we are all creations of god how can i claim this to be mine how can i even say that this talent is mine or is because of my talent things are happening in the world or is because of my talent that people are able to understand things no this whole thing is all about god the only thing is we are just instruments and we need to know how to be ready to be played by god as simple as that nothing else then god says the expansion of the consciousness of mine is a burden mine can be my talent mine can be my my looks physical looks my clothes my property my money my post my chair my certifications my accolades my achievements or anything in this world when there is any consciousness of mine such as my swabhav that means my nature this is my nature this is the way i react i can't change it sorry you change yourself this is the way i want to behave this is the way i speak i speak loudly that's my nature i generally tend to speak loud my sanskars my nature it is a burden and those who have a burden cannot fly that means you will never feel lighter in your mind forget about being a being becoming an angel so god says they cannot become angels so first level is you have to be lighter in your mind nothing is mine i am nothing i am nobody i am no one and i have nothing which i own this world imagine a feeling it's not just a thought it's a feeling away the world says it's just a thought away well spirituality says it's just a feeling away and then the thought arises first we have to feel pure first we have to feel and have emotions which are very clean and clear and then the thoughts can be planted into that beautiful soil which doesn't have any form of selfishness it doesn't have any form of mine or i in that so those will be the pebbles in the soil we have to remove the pebbles 
We have to remove the weeds of the mind and the eye. And that's what God is wanting us to do. That you remove those pebbles of mind and eye and then the consciousness is going to be infinite. God then says, if you have any consciousness of mind, even in your thoughts, that I did this, I made it, I designed it, my plan, my idea, my behavior, my talent, my nature, my habits, you should understand that you have become dirty. Imagine the word which God is using. You have become dirty. That means the thinking is dirty. I did this. My property, my land, my area. So God says anything covered with dirt would be burdened with dirt. That means there'll be heaviness. You'll have to prove so much to others that you have done something in your life. And to attain that accolade or to attain that praise when you go to that extent people actually can feel that you lack something people can understand that you don't have that what you need by showing to others that's we have to show it to others right God then says so hand over all your burdens to the father finish the dirt of the consciousness of mind and you will become an angel that means hand over all your burdens to the father that means give away this burden. It's a burden to think I have done it. It's a burden to think it's my plan. It's a burden to think it belongs to me. It's a burden to think I am the one who is doing it. Well, nothing in this world, not even your body, not even my body is ours. We are just taking it on loan. Imagine we are going to leave this body. Forget about everything else which we are doing through this body. Imagine that for a moment. And then you decide how you want to live your life and how do you want to think in every breath which you're taking right now and if you were to go deeper about this and feel it on a very deeper level then yes and become egoless and become less burdened do join us at Brahma Kumari Center close to your house very close by do look on to www.brahmakumaris.org if it's an international level if you're looking for a center out there an international level if you're looking for a national center then it's dot com with this home shanti